Hi there, Rebecca Lopez here. Today I want to share with you a special project my daughter and I have been working on, and that is the coding for beginners using Scratch. I've had this book for a while and I just haven't pulled it out to work on it, but yesterday and today during nap time, um, my older daughter and I have just been having fun with this program. So I want to show it to you. And um, basically the book gives you a step-by-step -step on using this program. It was created by MIT and um, it's just a fun program. It talks about how to build, you know, stuff. <laughs> I don't even know all the, the words for it, but we're doing it. We're building, this is our, we're learning the lingo. This is our, our sprite. We have a cat sprite and we have a mouse sprite we created. We had a little bit of a problem off it. Yeah, we had to add certain things. So we're kind of problem solving as we go. And the book tells us to solve those problems. So we're not, there's it's, nothing wrong with the not book. It's not a book. Well, this is the book and then the program we're using. <laughs> yeah. I thought you went about Yeah, yeah. So the first thing we had to do is make the program for the cat, right? So we learned how to add all these fun things at the top to change the the settings, the steps. We kind of made it our own. We wanted to have them start. We had to have the cat, like, make his legs move around. Um, so there's a lot of things. That, I know he's upside down. We just played the game. I'll show you in a second. Um, and then we added a, another sprite. He's called a mouse here. And then we had to change the setting so he would chase the cat, and or the cat would chase him. So it's just really fun. I mean, like I said, I don't even know the terminology, but I have it all here. And I'm learning, and my daughter's learning. It has some, you know, geometry with their X and Y coordinates where we start. Um, they all have to link together, and they won't go together if they don't work. So it's kind of, kind of foolproof. You can kind of play around with it. All these different things with, like, the looks and sounds you can add. Um, you could change different things that it says. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more. We're only just 11 pages into the book. <laughs> but this is the game we did, Cat and Mouse. Let's see if it's kind of kind of tricky. So basically try to keep the mouse from getting the, the cat from getting the mouse. And when it does, we had it say, got you. So that's the fun. And, and one time I said, um, I said, got you, Mommy and Claire. <laughs> yeah, we changed the words. You could do what you want. You could change the sprites. It's pretty fun. So um, my daughter is going to be five m next month. So we're having fun, aren't we? Yeah. And yeah, and we're gonna. I think the next thing we're gonna do is make some dancing sprites. So maybe we'll make another video then. So that is um, the review of this fun coding for beginners using Scratch. You do need a computer, um, a laptop with a keypad to do that, but it's really fun. So we're learning a lot of cool things. You can't use. Enjoy. Say bye. Bye.